That is the big question. Can you use the Aperture Light Dome Mini 2 as a key light, whether or not you're trying to save space over the light dome, or you just want to save $100? So this is it. If this is all you wanted to see, then uh, yeah, this is what it's going to look like with the Aperture Light Dome Mini 2 set up in a key light position. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. However, if you wanted a bit more context as to why I got the Light Dome Mini 2 over some of the other options on the market, then this is how we're going to do it. As someone who creates YouTube videos in their spare time, I need to get everything set up as quickly as possible and torn down as quickly as possible, which is why I went with the Aperture Mini 2. Now what I want to do for this video is to do the entire thing in a single take, so I'm not going to stop the camera. I want to get everything done within the 29 minute record limit on the Sony a7 III. So this is how it's going to go. I'm going to show the entire setup process, turning that couch into the space that I normally film YouTube videos in. We are at the 2.30 mark now. So this is everything that I use to set up my kind of at home YouTube studio. I have the uh, bag that the Aperture Mini 2 comes in. Uh, we have the actual uh, softbox itself. Uh, this is my light stand, the Godox SL60W. My phone is a monitor to kind of frame myself, uh, power cable. And then we also have the Aperture um, M9, which is a great little accent light um, that you'll see in just a second. Uh, we are at 4.30 now. Let's get everything set up. First, the light stand. Then mounting the Godox SL60W. Now comes the Aperture Mini 2. So the reason that this is so quick to set up is th this. Inside here you have uh, all the rods and you can actually just push those into place and uh, it'll all kind of be easier to set up. So there we go, that's all the rods set up. How easy was that? Then the diffusion layer. I also use the included grid as well just to control a little bit of the spill from the light. Great, all set up, and now that just needs to go on the light. There you go. Light set up, curtains closed. Accent light. And that's it. We are at 17 minutes now, and everything is all set up and ready to go. So I've got 10 minutes to film this kind of talking head segment. I have it set on the Godox SL60W with the one and a half stop diffusion on, as well as the grid to kind of control the light a little bit better. And I think it does a good job of providing a soft light kind of on my face. I have to have it quite frontal because if it's too far to the side, then I do get quite a lot of harsh shadows across the nose and the uh, fall off across the side of the face is good enough, I think, for YouTube. Considering how small and portable this is, it's a, uh, yeah, it's good. So that's it, that's everything set up. And uh, now I'll go into a couple of reasons why I actually went with the Aperture Mini 2 and why I chose it over some of the competition. The first and, and biggest priority for me is how quickly it was to set up and how easy it was to tear down. As you could see, setting it up is absolutely no problem. Tearing it down takes uh, maybe just a little bit longer and that is absolutely fantastic. For me as someone who shoots in their spare time on the weekends when it's 34 degrees outside, <laughs> I need to get everything up and ready to go as fast as possible and that's really what the uh, Aperture Mini 2 allows me to do. If you've ever used some of those cheap soft boxes that you buy off Amazon, it's, man, it's sweaty. Sorry, I apologize about that. It's the most frustrating thing in the world when you have a limited amount of time and you're battling with those finicky rods trying to get everything in and then it pops open in your face. So with this, no fiddling with rods, press it down, off you go, easy peasy. Now if you're looking at a soft box like this, the same kind of functionality, easy to set up, easy to tear down, uh, and you're maybe filming in like confined spaces like I am, there is another option and that's the Westcott Octobox, I think small, that is a, I think it's 26 inches, uh, which whereas this is 22, so you will get a softer light. However, it is a bit more expensive. So the Aperture Mini 2 in Europe is around 160 euros. The Westcott Octobox was 180 plus. You've got to buy the Bones mount uh, to attach it to something like the Godox and that's another 35 euros. The Aperture Mini 2 also goes for around, I think, 269. So that's a $100 difference roughly uh, over the Mini 2. And I just wanted to save a little bit of money as well. Setting up a YouTube channel is crazy expensive when you factor in the camera, the mic, the light stand, audio gear, like I've got a podcast which is coming out as well. Fantastic time to segue. I have a podcast, it's called Creative Behinds. I interview YouTubers and 
filmmakers and freelance artists and people in the games industry. Uh, we did one with someone who works at Weta Digital. As, you know, he's worked on all the Marvel films, which was amazing. Uh, we also have Bad C Tech, which is going to be coming on soon. So if you're a YouTube person, we're going to have some YouTube people on. It's going to be really cool. Anyway, back to the video. Short story is it's expensive to set up everything and I think this was kind of like a good compromise in terms of quality versus price. The other thing which is really cool which I'll show you just quickly before you go. This little guy right here, the Aperture M9. I do really love this light. It's just, it, it adds a little bit of personality to the background. That's what it looks like without it. It's maybe a little bit bland, so this just spice things up a little bit. Okay, and that really sums up the video. We are at the 24 minute mark now. I need to tear everything down and I have six minutes to do it. Let's go. This is why tearing it down is also so quick. To unrelease all the rods, you just... Comes with a handy little pouch as well, which keeps the uh, diffusion and the uh, grid in as well. And time! That was 29 minutes, so... <laughs> kind of got a bit slim. A softbox for me is one of the biggest pain points when kind of setting up everything, and the fact that I don't have to deal with rods and any of that kind of thing, and it's just super easy and folds up into a bag as small as this, which I also can keep my Godox SL60 in, and then it all just kind of slides underneath my bed. Uh, this, is, this is everything that I need to shoot a YouTube video, which is great because anything that makes my life easier and helps me get up and going a lot faster is all good in my book. Thank you very much for watching. If you are considering buying any of the gear, I'll have affiliate links in the description below. And uh, if you do so, then that will give a small commission towards the channel. I appreciate that very much. And uh, yeah, I think that basically wraps up everything today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.